What is going on y'all captain jody bayou bandit charters welcome back to the channel if you're new hit that subscribe button to be eligible for the drawing for the free flounder gigging trip and hobo custom rods y'all when i reach 1500 subscribers we'll be doing that giveaway we're going to do what i call the inside out stuffed flounder this is going to be a completely boneless flounder that's not cut and butterflied that gives you a big open cavity in there that you can put your crab stuff in cut you up some shrimp crawfish whatever you want make your stuff and put your seasoning in there uh, and bake it in the oven awesome awesome dish i'll show you how to do this probably something y'all have never seen before but we're going to completely take the bone out of the inside of this fish without cutting it open and butterflying it all right first thing we're going to do is scale this fish i'm using a stainless steel wire brush that is the easiest thing i have found over the years to get these scales off of these flounder flounder have small scales especially on the white side of the fish that's the first thing we're going to do is get all the scales off this fish this is quick easy and safe you ride it up on your hand no big deal you're not cutting yourself so we got all the scales off the top side we're going to rinse this fish off do the same way with the bottom side this is the side that's hard for a lot of people because these are very very small scales on the white side of a flounder and this is quick and easy and you get some all Boom. We have a scaled flounder. Clean him off. And uh, this is mid February, y'all. Uh, water temperatures warmed up. This is a little scouting trip. Got four or five flounder from the trip. Uh, just seeing uh, if they show back up or not. And they have. That one's got something in his belly right there. Have to see what that little guy's been eating. Twist and pull. Look at there, y'all. What he's been eating. Little old bull man. Little old bull man. All right, we got his head cut off. Here's the key. You want a long pointed knife blade and it's been used a lot got a little rust on it but it still works because you want to go in all the way to the tail and work right by that bone all the way around to the edge of those fins on each side all the way around so come in here work that blade tip of that blade right there work it in about halfway and start going out this time you go all the way in tip of that blades right there y'all you can see it working we want to go turn that blade we want to ride right down the edge of those side fins but not go through and come back do the same thing on the other side go in right by those bones all the way to the tail 
right all the way down and around but not not go through you don't want that blade going through make sure you're completely detached from the backbone like so and come in and you want you want to be able to feel the tip of that knife right there you can see it feel it as we go all the way to the edge flip them over we're going to do the same thing on this side one of the hardest parts is getting that blade started in on the white side because the white side's your thin side that's what we're doing we're going in we're all the way down here by the tail we're working that blade you can see that blade right there we're working that blade all the way down and out come back in work it right over that spine you can feel that blade on that spine like so and we want to work it all the way out to the edge like that now we want to start rolling that fish we've got some scissors we want to come in here make a couple of snips to get it started now we start rolling that fish wrong side outwards roll that fish rolling wrong side outward like so see how we're doing that y'all once you get it initially rolled then you can basically just pull it see how i'm doing that i'm just pulling it I'm just pulling it just like that pull him out all the way to the tail cut your tail off you have those little side bones trim those off right up to the skin on each side and then we turn him back the other way like so all right we've got a completely 100 percent deboned flounder that is a closed pocket that you can put all your stuffing crab stuffing shrimp cajun seasoning whatever you want to put in here put some lemons in there and bake it in the oven and that's going to be an incredible incredible dish all right y'all we are in the kitchen I have put some avocado oil down on my bacon pan. I've got one flounder done for my boy. He doesn't he doesn't like the the uh, red peppers, green peppers, onions, stuff like that. So I've got that. I've got one onion, one green pepper, one red pepper, all chopped up, and a uh, container of shrimp from Rouse's. Uh, got those in there chopped up i'm going to put lemon juice quite a bit of lemon juice in there and uh i like using this uh crab meat stuffing i get it at rouse's uh it comes from bayou la battery y'all so you know it's got to be good if it comes from the bayou if it comes from the bayou it's got to be good so we're going to take a tube of that and Put it in with our other ingredients. Right there. And we've got the other half of another pack. I try to get uh, one pack to do two flounder. So I think we've got way more than we need but uh we've got that in there like so i like using y'all know me frog bone 
blackening seasoning. We're going to put heavy, heavy coat of frog bone blackening seasoning in there as well as Justin Wilson original Cajun seasoning. A good bit of Justin Wilson in there. And then some sea salt, y'all. Can't go wrong with some sea salt. And uh, we're just going to mix this all together. And that is what we're going to stuff our flounder with. So we mix it all up like so. Get it all mixed in good. This is going to be good, y'all. This is going to be good. <clears throat> got all that mixed in good. We've got our flounder patted down. Look at all that, y'all. All right, so we're just going to get a handful of that stuffing. And just start stuffing our flounder. Those shrimp and onions and crab and peppers. That's going to be so good, y'all. Let me get that rascal stuffed, stuffed full. We're going to get our knife here and we're going to cut up a few lemons. <clears throat> we're going to get our Cajun seasoning. Sprinkle all over the top of our flounder. And a little Justin Wilson, do it the same way. And a little sea salt. A little avocado oil. Put it on the top of those flounder. Like so. We'll take our lemons. There's lemons on top. All right, we're going to cover these up with our tin foil, like so. And we are going to put them in our oven. We've got it set at 375. And we're going to put those flounder in there for about 30 minutes covered. And we're going to check them and then uncover them for probably 7 to 10 minutes. All right, y'all. Let's check and see. It's been about 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. Y'all look at y'all look at those flounder y'all oh that looks so good man that looks awesome look at that y'all beautiful inside out boneless stuffed flounder mm -mm. Mm, i can't wait to get into that y'all all right y'all here we go completely boneless inside out flounder Stuff flounder. Mm mm. Mm. It's so good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all have got to try this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A little bit of white wine. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all. See y'all on the next one.